Before going to discuss about uh, the properties and the characteristics of sound, as I mentioned you earlier, sound is a wave. So let us discuss about uh, some fundamentals of wave. Then we go to sound. See here, as I mentioned you, wave is pictorial representation of energy. Now this wave, this wave is classified into many types: mechanical wave, electromagnetic wave, matter wave. Many classifications are there. But here our subject is limited to mechanical and electromagnetic and we are not touching electromagnetic because this is not in sound. So coming to mechanical, mechanical wave. Mechanical wave means the wave is produced because of mechanical force. Mechanical force. That mechanical force is applied because of your muscular force, some machinery force. So based on the mechanical force, the mechanical energy is produced and because of mechanical energy or mechanical wave and this mechanical wave again classified into two types longitudinal wave and transverse wave so this is our point of discussion longitudinal wave and transverse waves now the question is what is longitudinal and what is transverse see here longitudinal wave if you see on the board I had drawn some dots some lines Think that this line is air medium, so air medium or any gaseous medium you can take. For example, I have taken air medium. Air medium consists of many particles because medium is nothing but consists of particles. So as this air medium, you have air particles everywhere. So in that I have chosen four air particles, A, B, C, D. Four air particles I have chosen. Now, when, the, when some wave comes, some wave comes through the air. Let's see what happens. So this is how the wave comes. See here, this is the wave is going in this direction towards right side. When the goes, when the wave goes towards right side, actually what happens? While the wave enters into the air medium, this particle do not stay at rest state. They starts vibrating. Vibrating means to and fro motion. How they vibrate? When the wave enters into the medium like air, the particles are vibrate like this, horizontal. See, I'm keeping two arrows, left and right arrow. This means if my this marker is a, a particle A, then the particle A vibrates like this, like this. It vibrates like this. Okay. Now particle B also vibrates. But how particle B vibrates? When particle A vibrates, this particle A at one point of time, it touches particle B. Then immediately particle B starts vibrating. When the particle B starts vibrating, at one point of time it touches C and particle C also starts vibrating. So in this way, all the particles vibrate horizontally. This is a horizontal line. You know in mathematics, this is horizontal, this is vertical. So horizontally, so particles are vibrating horizontally. Wave is also going horizontally. So I can say longitudinal wave is the wave when the particles vibrates along the direction of the wave. So particles are vibrating along the direction of the wave is what called longitudinal wave. Understand? Now examples of longitudinal wave are sound is longitudinal wave. Next, spring, waves in spring is also longitudinal and you can produce water waves also longitudinal. So sound, springs, water, longitudinal waves. Now coming to transverse. Now see this diagram carefully, similar, air medium, ABCD particles. Now again the wave is propagating or moving in right hand direction. Now this time the particles vibrate, see carefully how they are vibrating, they are vibrating not horizontally, they are vibrating perpendicularly or vertically, vertical vibration, see. So all these particles are vibrating vertically but the wave is moving horizontally, that means the angle between the wave direction and particle vibration is 90 degrees. So we say that when the wave 
propagates in the medium such that the particles vibrate perpendicular to the wave direction then it is called transverse wave and examples are light is a transverse wave light is transverse wave and waves in strings string cord ropes all are transverse waves of course you can produce transverse waves in water also see water is basically in a different uh, special medium where you can produce longitudinal as well as transverse so what we understand that sound is a longitudinal wave in the sound when the wave sound wave propagates the particles in the medium vibrates in the direction of the wave now let's discuss deep of the sound concept and its wave nature so we learned that sound is a longitudinal wave now see what happens here this is a cylinder the cylinder is having a piston and the cylinder is filled with gas some gas you can take air also an example now what what all these lines represents think that each line is a gas layer gas actually is nothing but a, you know it's a type of air but how can you imagine geometrically a gas so in mathematics what we do either we say this is gas gas particles or we can say these are gas layers right or sometimes we can say the like this also gas planes for visualization of the gas so here what i have visualized that each line is a gas layer so so many gas layers are there in the cylinder okay the piston is a rest state this is the state of the gas its initial state now what you have done you hold the piston and you apply the force inside the cylinder once you apply the force inside the cylinder there's a disturbance happens in the layers how they happen some layers are getting closer some layers are move away from each other again getting closer moving away from each other so this type of structure happens but if you see the all the layers many layers are occupied in the in this volume same volume you can take here in the same volume you have less number of layers same volume again more number of layers same volume again less number of layers so the gas layers are arranged such that in the same volume in some volume many layers are there in some volume less layers are there or in other words i can say in some volume you have more number of gas layers more amount of pressure yes because of high pressure all layers are closed because of less pressure less number of layers or i can say because more number of layers are there it has more density it has less number of layers so it has less density okay so the region which is having high pressure or high density is called compression represented by the letter c the region which is having less pressure less density is called rarefaction now see in this diagram compression rarefaction are are arranged alternatively okay so let me write here c is called compression in the name itself tells you pressure so it is nothing but region having high pressure or you can say region having high density high density now r is nothing but rare fraction rare fraction this is nothing but region having low pressure or else region having low density so this is a definition of compression and rare fraction and if you see this once again this diagram compression and rare fraction are arranged alternatively so this is how a sound is produced a sound is traveled in the medium so by this statement you need to confirm that sound requires medium when i started sound chapter been telling that sound in the air sound in the gas 
Sound doesn't travel in vacuum. It requires medium. Okay, come back to this concept. So, compression rarefaction, compression rarefaction arranged alternatively. Okay, this is good. But how do we show graphically? Or how do we show in waveform? I told you, waveform can be shown either in that uh, sinusoidal form. I have shown earlier the two diagrams. So, how can we show? So, let me show you here. Take the x and y coordinating system. See, x and y coordinating system. Okay, so y axis either you can take pressure or density. You can take pressure or density, y axis. Now, x axis you can take time t. Now, see what happens. Here you have compression, means high pressure. Let us say this is high pressure, P naught. Rare fraction, rare fraction, minus P naught, less pressure. Minus P naught means less pressure. Y axis I have taken pressure and density, x axis have taken time. Now see what happens. Compression is high pressure. So let us take P naught is the high pressure and minus P naught is the low pressure. Now compression you represent in this way. See? Peak, the peak, maximum peak, P naught, compression. This is compression. Now rare fraction, rare fraction low pressure. So that's my, that means you go in this way. So this is Less pressure. So the curves down, low peak. Now again you get compression. See, high pressure. Again you draw, you get rare fraction, low pressure. So that's how the wave generated. This is the true and real wave generated if you using instrument. If you see also you get the same type of wave. Actually this is called sine wave. So that's how you can represent in, in terms of compression refractions or in, you can represent in terms of a wave form. So I can represent this is compression, this is rarefaction, this is compression, this is rarefaction. If you like this video, please give a thumbs up. Please subscribe to our channel to get more videos on CBSC syllabus.